please would you open your scriptures to the book of Acts chapter 28 the devil is a liar Acts chapter 28 and we'll read from verse 1 glory to God we'll read the book of Acts chapter 28 and we we'll begin to read from verse 1 all the way down to verse 6 as it's the custom of this house for us to rise for the reading of God's word at the count of three we're going to read together one two three and when they were escaped then they knew that the island was called Melita and the barbarous people showed us no little kindness for they kindled a fire and received us everyone because of the present rain and because of the cold and when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and laid them on the fire there came a viper out of the heat and fastened on his hand and when the barbarians saw the venomous beast hang on his hand they said among themselves no doubt this man is a murderer whom though he had escaped the sea yet vengeance suffering not to leave and he shook off the beast into the fire and felt no harm somebody help me thunder say i shake it off no you didn't hear me can i hear you screaming loud i say i shake it off can you shout it with a loud voice thunder i shake it off can you scream it louder say i shake it off thunder it again say i shake it off thunder it again say i shake it off oh you men are begging the prayer say my father my father thunder my father my father whatsoever that is not in line with your will whatsoever that is not in alignment with my destiny any affliction any oppression any suppression any evil mark any evil identity say never again can you shall never again scream never again shall never again thunder never again shall never again say right now I shake it off fall 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 off open your mouth and you make it Shake it off, shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. Call it by name, call it by name, call it by name. Shake it off for your son, shake it off for your daughter, shake it off. Arabadaba, Rakatuba, Lakadabe, Ishadaba, Alakata, Ranabiaka, Alatabala, Rakasote, El Labiana, Atokata, El Lakada, El Lakata, Arabada, Ashaka, Ataba. Iraka, Alata, Araba, Ashana, Aleko, Arasa, Ataka, Alaba, Ashani, Iraka, Alabia, let your image on the Lauda, let your image on the affliction follow by fire, depression follow by fire, evil arrows fall off, evil covering fall off, every ring fall off, manipulation fall off, enchantment fall off, witchcraft activity fall off, fall off, fall off, fall off. Fall off, fall off, fall off, fall off, fall off. For he, the son of man, has set free, is free indeed. I announce you are free. 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 Let your amen turn the louder. People of God, we're going to continue reading. And we'll read verses 4 right now. Remember that we're stopping at verse 6. Verse 4 right now. And when the barbarians saw the venomous beast hang on his hand, they said among themselves, No doubt this man is a murderer, whom though he had escaped the sea, yet vengeance suffered not to leave. And he shook up the beast into the fire and felt no harm. Howbeit, they looked when he would have swollen or fallen down dead suddenly. But after they had looked a great while and saw no harm come to him, they changed their mind and said that he was a god. Our Father, we ask in the next few minutes that you make your word and your will known unto us. Father, let there be none of any man but all of you. Have your way, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Lift up your right hand say, I love the word of God. Say, it is the compass for my living. Say, I love the word of God. Powerful in my mouth and active in my destiny. Say, right now, as I hear the word, as I speak the word, let everything come alive. Let your amen turn the louder. 
please before you take your seat help me walk up to seven people and just shout fire uh, walk up to seven persons and just shout fire let me hear yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir let me hear Somebody help me shout a loud fire. Please take your seat in the presence of, uh, of the Lord. Uh, look at your neighbor and ask your neighbor, is there a viper here? Uh, tell your neighbor, say, is there a viper here? Let me hear you scream fire. I don't know why God brought this to my spirit, but I'm going to say it exactly the way it was laid in my spirit. Recall people of God uh, by chapter 27, if you're a good Bible student, it recounted, of course, the journey with the um, Euroclidon and of course the wind that came against the sheep and how the sheep was torn into pieces, if you're a good Bible student. And the Bible says, and it was Paul that stood and said that nothing will happen to anyone. Am I correct? That all of us are going to come out of this safe and sound. And Paul declared it and Paul wasn't afraid, but even though the Euroclidon, the Euroclidon, I said, we are. I was hitting hard against the ship and Paul already declared this is how it's going to happen everyone will arrive to safety and people of God if the word of God was fulfilled according to how Paul said it but listen people of God the devil comes in the island of Melita and tries to make a mess of his declaration I, did, I don't know whether you just said what I said. He declared that nothing will go wrong. And all of a sudden, while the word was about to be fulfilled, all of a sudden, a viper now showed up in order to show that something must go wrong. People of God, you have prayed about that matter. You have declared that nothing will go wrong. All of a sudden, something wants to happen to make something go wrong. I don't know who I came for. This is not what I prefer appeared for this service you have declared the word of God God honored you what is going on now lift up your right hand can you share fire can you share fire can you share fire say today whatsoever that will arise to contradict the word of God over my life say my God is not a God of abandoned projects say today whatsoever that will arise to contradict to oppose the word of God over my life right now fire 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 open your mouth Arabarakata Lekoto Ishadaba Alebiada Akotala Rakadea 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 Ashabia Lekabeta Ishabada Akotola Rabiadaya Akotola Rakatea Lebiada Ashabia Atata a Koduba, a Katoda, a Labiada, a Shabada, a Kabada, a Kabada, a Kabada, a Kotoda, a Rabiada, a Shade, a Kod, a Lessa, a Lia, let you aim at on the Loda. Take your seat, I shall fire. I didn't hear you thunder loud, I shall fire. You have declared God is your healer, nothing will go wrong. I just spoke to someone right now. Can I say it again? You have declared God is your healer. Nothing will go wrong. You have declared God is your defender. Nothing will go wrong. You have declared God is your razor. Nothing will go wrong. Nothing will go wrong. Nothing will go wrong. Nothing will go wrong. Let your amen turn louder. Take your seat. People of God. I cannot declare in the sea that God is faithful. And I come on the land and viper will swallow me. I cannot declare in the sea that we will all get to the land and I will arrive at the place of my testimony the same prophecy I gave in the sea was fulfilling in my eyes all of a sudden viper came from nowhere if you understand it let me hear you shout fire 
let me hear you shout fire somebody turn that it will end in praise i need you to scream and say it will end in praise shout it louder say it will end in praise i need you to scream and say it will end in praise say over this matter don't die it will end in praise say every prophecy i have declared will end in praise if you believe it on die louder amen take your seat somebody shall viper shall fire thunder viper can you shall fire thunder viper can you shall fire thunder viper can you shall fire hear me people of god it's important for you to realize that apostle paul kayanabo sierra was dealing with the territorial spirit if you look at what the people said they said oh this man you have escaped the sea but yet the vengeance of the gods are still coming after you so people of god viper turbulence in the sea presentation of a territorial spirit they said even what happened on the sea was the gods against him now this viper thing again he thought he had escaped the sea but he didn't know that this again is coming for him but people of god i don't care the presentation i don't care how he came if he likes let him move from this one to this one sometimes he move from your brother to your sister sometimes he move from your career to your business i don't care the presentation but people of god i don't know whether your faith can join with my faith now whatever the presentation i command let it be terminated right now the louder your amen the quicker the answer the louder your amen, the quicker the answer. The louder your amen, the quicker the answer. Let me hear you shout fire. Let me hear you shout fire. Let me hear you shout fire. Let me hear you turn the fire. Take your seat. Marabala Koshara. If you know a bit about the island of Melita, you will understand that one God that they revere is the God of the Viper. The, the island of Melita, the, the, the honor of the viper. The viper was one of the gods that they revere. If not the foremost god they revere. So when the viper came on the hand of Paul, they understood what was going on. They were like, oh my goodness, this is God. This is the worst that can happen to this guy. But you know what? The devil played his worst card. The devil played the viper card. And the Lord was telling the devil, you see, in this one you have played. This is why when he finished, they now called Paul. This one is a God. Watch what will happen in your life. <laughs> the devil thought he had played the worst card. I didn't come for everybody. Oh. I came for some people. What the enemy meant for river. What the enemy meant for river. Oh, the sound of your amen is turning around for your evidence. Let your amen turn the louder. Let your amen turn the Let your amen turn the Let your amen rise. Take your seat. I didn't plan for any of these things I'm saying to you. So I want you to listen. The barbarous people, Apostle Paul says, showed us no little kindness. But their gods were against them. You better listen to this. It looks basic and pedestrian. The people you're going to meet, they will be nice. But what is around them? So, and this is why we don't just respond to every smile. We don't just jump into people because they are nice to us. We want to find out what is behind them. Pastor, these guys just are nice to me. They are loving to me. They just became, cool down. Don't be in a hurry. Take your time. Sometimes they are smiling and they are nice. 
but there are territorial powers that were looking for a way to make it road to your life and they said I know that I know this guy he always likes people who likes him so the only way for us to make him road into their into his life is to present people who appear to be kind people of God I am talking to someone now and God is saying don't jump in yet don't jump in right they are ready to buy a ring next week don't jump in yet they want you to do this and sign it off with them don't jump in yet don't jump in yet. Oh, they, 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 want to, they want to do all the visas for you right now. And I get a, don't jump in yet. People of God, they are, they are naturally kind. But I am, I, am, I am worried about what territorial bondage you are about to. And I'm worried about what affinity because of, of what concord has the a temple of God with Belial. Now, but they might be good people, but with the wrong atmosphere. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. You know what it took you to pray yourself to where you are. You don't want to jump in into a marriage that will give you bigger prayer points that you don't even understand what Akibala do Shibadasa and So, sir, when they smile at you, people of God, go back and pray and ask God who sent them. When they say they love you, they care about you, they're already buying gifts without your asking. Go back to God and ask God who sent them. Am I communicating? When they come up to you and they say, you know, I, I love you so much. I want to work for you. I want to be here for you. And all but sit back. They might be naturally good people. I'm not saying they are bad people. They might be good people, but we need to watch their atmosphere. What are you coming with? What are you coming with? Scripture is replete with example. People of God, they call Rabasha. If Jonah enters your boat, Karabadi Basakada is going to rock until you throw him out. It's going to rock until you throw him out. You better be careful who is walking into your life. It's not about who you are. It's about what is behind you. Am I communicating? If Joseph enters your house, if Joseph enters your house, everything you do will begin to prosper. People of God, it is because of what is behind him. Am I communicating? So this is not the era of accepting people because they look good, because they smell good, because they talk good, because they've got a nice diction, because they've got a nice articulation, because they know how to phrase their words, and because they know how to put the rhymes at the right places, because they have the right shape, because they look like Coca-Cola bottle. This is not the season to receive people into your life that way. If they show up in your life, please help me ask them, who sent you? People of God, don't win a battle of doors and lose the one of gates. Sakadabo shi bara bara, randa bara koshi bi yadabala kota, kala bara sa. Don't get a momentary pleasure. And sabotage the destiny of a generation. Did you hear what I just said? Balasia. And people of God, the Bible says, I didn't plan to say this, so I don't know whose word I'm giving. So, people of God, I just need you to know that it's a word fitly spoken. And the Bible says, the Bible says there was viper. Apostle Paul showed up and then viper from nowhere came. The Bible says, because everywhere was cold. Everywhere was cold. The Bible says, and the barbarous people showed us no little kindness. For they kindled the fire and received us everyone because of the present rain and because of the cold. Uncle, until let me tell you the truth. If it is cold, there might be a viper. I'm warning you, this is August. If you count down again, it will be September, October, November, December. You want this coldness in your spirit to continue. The more cold you are becoming, the more you are opening door for fiber. 
Barita, because of the present cold, they like cold. If it is cold, then Viper can relax. Can I shock you? Can I shock you? That it has no struck does not mean it is not there. Jesus help me. So, the time that Apostle Paul carried the viper all this while, he didn't move. There are homes that are enjoying coldness and viper is right there lining up across your phone looking like your bed sheet and you cannot know so much coldness you don't know why God got you involved and connected to altar of fire hey God I, I wasn't able to pray I have not been able to pray for three days I am afraid for you I am afraid for you when Paul carried the viper was not when it fastened on his hand if it is cold there might be a viper never let it be cold in your house never let your spirit man be cold never let your father's house be cold every prayer we are praying be sending it there whether your children know God or not let the fire if you send fire it can reach where they are Kai Karoso, do you know that if I don't, I don't mean to talk about the devil because I hate it. All I came to do is to destroy. But let me let you know something. Do you know that a viper that enters in 2019 can only but strike in 2024? And that is where you say, Oh, when did this happen? When did this happen? And the Lord said, You were too cold to notice. Am I communicating? I know you understand what I said. Say after me, say, let everywhere be on fire. With a loud voice, can you thunder, say, let the fire fall. If it was you that I was talking about, your voice would be louder. Say, let the fire fall. Say it again like a minute, say, let the fire fall. Can you shout it, let it annoy the devil, say, let the fire fall. Can you scream it, say, let the fire fall. Can you shout it louder? Let the fire fall. Let the fire fall. Let the fire fall. Say from my life to my house, to my career, to my father's house, to my children. Let the fire fall. 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 Open your mouth. I wish you a prayer. Don't murmur the prayer. Raise your voice. Akeketokoloba. Ishadaba. Akirada. Akirada. Akotaba. Ashabiada. Akotabia. Alakata. Ishada. Arabayadaba. Akotabadi. Akorasa. Atabiada. Arakata. Arakata. Ashabiada. Let your aim and turn the loud. Take your seat. I do not mean to, I do not mean to scare you. But yesterday, somebody reached out to me and the person was saying to me, I said to me, Pastor, four years ago, I had a dream. I remember that dream because the specificity of the dream is exactly what played out. If I go into more detail, some of you might understand what I'm saying. And he said, she said to me, and he said, Pastor, I had that dream. I never believed it. I just said to myself, such things cannot happen to someone like me. Four years ago. Four years after. In the same detail. In the same detail that she had the dream was exactly what happened. A viper can come four years ago and lie down. Pretend like he's not there. And they are the bar. And then coldness will continue because the viper does not like your fire. 
So all it will do is to make you more cold. Make you more lousy in the spirit. Make you more directionless. Make you more undiscerning. Make you to take things of the spirit lighter. Make you take prayer time like it doesn't matter. Make you take things that matter like our yaya. When it happens, everybody will start shouting, where is God? And God say, I've always been here. I've always been here. But you let her, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I'm going like this in this service but I believe there's a family God wants to save her from the hands of a marooned viper there is a woman here God wants to deliver from the hands he called her Alabia a Shabana, a Takate, a Labia, a command, let it be broken right now. Somebody turn the letter fire for somebody say, No room for coldness. Ayaga said, No room for coldness. Say it again, say it again, let no room for coldness. Say, No room for coldness. No room for coldness. No room for coldness. No room for coldness. If you believe it, shout it loud. Amen. Take your seat. Aranda Balaba. From your head to your toe, no room for coldness. Ledebe Rebabo Shikada Balaba. Aranda Bea Korosotala. You still wonder why they use uh, 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 chemo uh, for chemotherapy and all that? Uh, it's heat. It's heat that they use for all those cancer cells. You still wonder why they use it? No room for coldness. In order to kill cancer cells, they will use all of those things. And people of God, you, can, you can't be cold. You come too far from where you started from. You cannot be cold. If you get cold, I am a son. 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 I am let the fire, let the fire, let the fire, let it fall, 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 let, it fall. let your amen turn the louder. Take your seat. My baraba see the baraba. And people of God, I want you to understand. Hear this, people of God. Before Apostle Paul shook off the viper into the fire, he tried to put the sticks into the fire. As he put the sticks into the fire, the viper came out. The stick had gone into the fire, but the viper came out. He tried to put the stick into the fire. As soon as they got to the fire, the viper came out. Sir, the fire did not kill the viper until Apostle Paul shook it off a second time. Shook it off into the fire. Forgive me if I offend your theology a bit by telling you it was Paul's action that killed the viper not the fire because the viper had gone into the fire the first time and did not die i don't know whether you're getting what i'm saying let me tell you something there are things designed for you if they don't get you they can't get another person i wish i wish i can explain what i'm talking about and sir where am i going to let me tell you where i'm arriving at where i am arriving at is that you see man made fire you see quick fix fire you see fire for situations because pastor there is a situation here that is why you you raised an emergency fire it will not kill the viper hmm. 
emergency fire fire because there is problem no 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 situations don't respond to that and that is why on Mount Camel the prophet said we don't want fire under nobody should put man-made fire we don't want human generated fire we don't want fire that is coming out of human labor and human effort the scripture says and Jesus said I came to set the world on fire I wish he was already born in. For he maketh his angel spirits and his ministers flames of fire. For the fire the Lord is talking about is not the fire you pick up. Because pastor, I woke up and my leg was stolen. And then all of a sudden, you had fire. You became a fire for... No, no, no. That's not the fire. It will not last the test of time. We're talking about being on fire for Jesus. Whether there is problem or no problem. We're talking about fire that comes from fellowship and communion and koinonia with God. We're coming from fire that is not driven because of any scare. We are not coming. We are talking about fire that is not preconditioned because of trouble or crisis. We are talking about fire that is not because something wants to go wrong in my family or something wants. No, no, that's not the kind of fire I'm talking about. I'm talking about the fire that you build, whether there is a problem or not. Lord, for the Bible says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice unto God it is my devotion to be always on fire it is my commitment to be always on fire I don't need to have a problem to be on fire for God You see emergency fire man made fire it cannot kill the viper building up yourself in your most holy faith speaking in the holy ghost thy word have i hid in my heart that i may not sin against you being on fire for god for the word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two edges. So kaya abasa, le ne 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 kesoto no baba. For out of my belly shall flow rivers of living water. Say ya kade subora sha ya dea, and let the other baka sota no baba baba. Ira kato no baba baba baka sa ha, araba ni baba ha. Isa kato no baba sa da, let the other baba. One thing have I desired of the Lord, and that will I seek after that is what the fire that's the fire I'm talking about in a dry and weary land where there is no water God, Allah, my soul is thirsty for you that's the kind of fire for in the last days I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh your sons and daughters shall prophesy that's the kind of fire is not a fire because of a problem but then again you see this fire it will answer to any problem so sir being on fire for God is not because of an issue but when I am on fire for God there will be no issue can I say it again being on fire for God is not because of a problem but you say this fire that I carry will answer every problem so please don't look for those premature fire okay let's get serious with God now because sometimes let's begin midnight prayer 
people of God, issue or no issue, midnight prayer. If the devil tells you you can't find time to pray, be still in 10, 10 minutes everywhere. 10 minutes in the car, Maka Koto Bala. 10 minutes sitting down in your office, Kika Robo Shabadaba. 10 minutes walking somewhere, Lekebe de Berosa. 10 minutes sitting lying on the bed before you sleep, Rekotobo. By the time you count it, you would have devoted 40 minutes of reigniting your Pakatada. Redebi Akata Shabada. Remember, emergency fire, man made fire may not be able to kill the viper did i say may not will not be able to kill the viper god is waiting to raise a generation of fire people of god i hear that your adversary the devil the bible calls it your adversary mark the word the lord did not say my adversary the devil is already God's adversary, but the Lord calls it your adversary. You see this guy, your adversary, the devil, is going about as a roaring lion. I'd say it before, but let me say it again. Not seeking unbelievers to devour, seeking whom he may devour. Anyone, believer or unbeliever, just give him some time and he will devour. Am I communicating? And this is the reason why you got to be on fire. The reason why we don't touch some things that are unclean and unholy is because it will affect our fire. Mm. Anything that will reduce this fire potential, no. No, stay there. I want to guard this fire because I am on a journey to somewhere. Am I communicating? I want to say this finally the Bible said they looked a great while expecting Paul to swell up and die people of God the viper technology to men of destiny is that they will suddenly look big and their bigness will become they are dead. They said they were looking at Gedwa. She, we're waiting for you to swell up. People of God, in the kingdom, we don't swell up. We grow up. Did you hear what I just said? So, Kaya Nabo said, ah, it will take me to other things. But beware of any gathering who do not emphasize on your growth and they rather will teach you about your just swell up anybody can swell up overnight anybody but not everybody can grow up to maturity overnight the viper technology says swell up don't grow up but God's perspective says grow up don't swell up because if you swell, one small pin will puncture you and everything will do shh. Sir, grow up. In this kingdom, we don't swell up. We grow up. When people start swelling up without foundation, without being processed, without knowledge, you see people recording exploits, no knowledge, no labor in the spirit, Chai, we look at them and say, This looks like swelling. I'm afraid when people swell because they will not last the like test of time. In this kingdom, we don't swell up, we grow up. Rise on your feet wherever you are. Would you lift up your two hands wherever you are? Speak in the Holy Ghost. Speak in the Holy Ghost. Oh Lord, set my heart on fire for you. 
let me burn for you. Oh Lord, set my heart on for you. I wanna burn for you. Oh Lord, On fire, on fire, on fire. On fire for you. Like fire, like rain, let your glory Until the coming of the King Give me oil in my hand, Lord May my life never be deep oh. Keep me burning, keep me burning Until the coming of the King Give me oil in my hand May my life never be deep Oh, Give me oil in my hand. May my heart never be here. Give me burning, give me burning. Until the coming of the year. Give me oil in my hand. When you come, Lord, I want to hear you say, Well done. Keep me burning, keep me burning until the going of the heat. I want to be ready when you come, Lord. I want to hear you say, Well done. Oh, keep me burning, keep me burning until the going of the heat. Father, we thank you. Be magnified, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Let it be about you and about your power again. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Go ahead and put together your offerings. Go tighten your partnership, church. your tight and your partnership. In streams of joy we stand to give to God because we're offering to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Put together your offerings, your tight and your partnership. 
Together your offerings, your tithes, and your punishment. Make it a wave offering. Make it a wave offering. Make it a wave offering. Let the blessings of the Lord to them that have honored him with their offerings, their tithes, and their partnership be your portion. The devil rise rebuke for your sake. The windows of heaven are opened and poured out. There will not be room enough to contain. It is done. It is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.